Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts on the Dwight Howard situation uh, in Orlando. The NBA trading deadline is upon us, and in the last 24 hours, Dwight Howard apparently has uh, told at least one web outfit, an outfit called Real GM, that he wants to stay with the Orlando Magic for the 2012 to 2013 season and that he's willing to waive free agency during that period of time, right? Apparently he feels that the Magic uh, can make a playoff run this year and uh, he feels that he's poured his heart and soul into the Orlando Magic. There are rumors that Dwight Howard uh, wants to be a New Jersey Net. Dwight Howard apparently gave the Orlando Magic earlier a list of five teams to which he was willing to go to. You know, my take on the situation, if I were the GM of the Orlando Magic, I'd have to make a trade. I'd have to send Dwight Howard out of town now, this year, before the expiration of the trade deadline. You cannot have a guy in the foxhole with you, especially when that guy is your best soldier. You can't have a guy in the foxhole with you who is unclear of the concept of long-term commitment and gives the, in gives the impression that he's always looking for the bigger, better deal. Also, um, you know, if you bounce this problem over to 2012 to 2013, all you're doing is delaying the inevitable one more year. I think you have to give Dwight Howard his walking papers now. I think you need to shop around the league and get the best deal you can. No big time free agent is going to sign a long term deal with the Orlando Magic. Knowing that Dwight Howard has only committed to be there another year. Also, you know, why is Dwight talking about signing a waiver instead of signing a waiver? Right? All I'm saying is if the situation is so passive aggressive that we're less than 24 hours before the expiration of the NBA deadline and Dwight Howard is still talking about what he might sign instead of actually signing the document, then you can't trust the statements. There's too much money involved. You need to get rid of the guy while you still have contractual rights and while you can still make a deal, right? People are on the phone right now trying to get the best deal for the Orlando Magic. You can't put the other person on the other end of the phone on hold while Dwight Howard, literally right up against the deadline, continually has changes of heart on whether he wants to stay in Orlando. This is not how it's done, right? I wouldn't expect a Kevin Durant or a Derrick Rose to one day say, I'm committed. The other day say, I'm uncommitted. One day say, here's five teams that I want to go to. The other day say, I've poured my heart into the local team. You know, that's a headache. That's a lack of leadership. That's not anything you need. Let's also be Machiavellian. I'm looking at the standings. Let's say I'm the GM of the Orlando Magic. You know what? I don't need Dwight Howard to make the playoffs this year. I don't, right? I'm already in the playoffs. Unless the team completely implodes, the Orlando Magic will be in the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. And if you get back any real talent for Dwight Howard, any real talent, then that talent should help you in the playoffs and should also help start a new history with the team. If the team is headed into a new chapter, what better way to start that new chapter than to 
be in the playoffs with the guys who will be part of that future, right? And so the bottom line is this. Orlando's already in the playoffs. If Dwight Howard doesn't realize that he has a good thing, if he hasn't looked over his shoulder at the countless teams in the NBA that really have no shot of making the playoffs or who at best have a chance of making the playoffs as an eighth seed, if Dwight Howard doesn't realize right now that he's in a good situation, then you're not going to convince him in these last few hours before the trading deadline. I think Dwight Howard gets moved. I think basketball is a business. I think owners and GMs know when they have a guy who's down for the cause or when they have a guy who wants to further his career by playing for the New Jersey Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, as they will soon be known. Let me also say, too, that, um, you know, it is a business. I don't believe that there's a lot of loyalty from anyone, anywhere, anytime that there are dollars involved. Certainly, there will be a time, should Dwight Howard stay, when the Orlando Magic decide that they're going to go to plan B, right? Players need to look out for themselves. I'm not here to criticize Dwight Howard for, um, you know, looking out for himself. What I am here to say, though, is, hey, let's all be upfront about it, right? If he hasn't signed stuff by now, then that's all you need to know. The idea, too, that he's willing to just stick around until 2012, 2013 if I'm the Orlando Magic, I would think to myself, okay, this guy just wants to stick around long enough so that he can see that new arena open in Brooklyn so that the Nets are better prepared to take him, right? Well, you know what? If at the end of the day, that's his end game, then I think the Magic really should, while they're a playoff caliber team, swap Dwight Howard out for some player who actually wants to be with the Magic for a few years, right? The Magic, just like Dwight Howard is, the Magic have to look out for themselves. And now's the time to use whatever leverage they have to hook themselves up for the future. So I'll be surprised if Dwight Howard is still in Orlando Magic at the expiration of the trading deadline, short of him signing a long-term deal with the Magic. If I were the GM, there is nothing Dwight Howard could say to me short of his signature on a four- or five-year deal that would cause me not to trade him. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at dwyersports.blogspot.com and, of course, gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.